Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog on Mogscast, and we are playing some Kerbal Space Program once again in our United Kerbal Industries Beginnings file, our career mode. This is episode 4B, our launch phase of the Skyscraper 4 rocket with Captain Shortall here, going to be leading the charge on this mission since we've still got just a single, uh, single occupancy uh, capsule there. I mean, I guess I could put multiple capsules for different people, but whatever. Um, and we don't have any probes, so we pretty much have to put Kerbals in harm's way with our current lack of, uh, lack of scientific development. So without further ado, guys, um, I've kind of got this position so that hopefully we'll get up into orbit about the time that the Mun comes into view. If not, we might be a little late here. I probably should have started a little further back, but if not, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll fix it. We'll remedy the situation. Um, but if we do line it up and we kind of get out to an orbit, which I think we might actually get lucky, it'll probably be just, just perfect, I would think. I could be wrong. Uh, which way are we facing? That's north if we were to go that route. That's north. Okay, so yeah, that is correct. Uh, for some reason that threw me off for whatever reason. 90 is the way we want to go. I've got this throttled up just a hair so that, uh, if it really came down to it, we can start ejecting things and actually get our main rockets there firing. But, here we go, guys. Three... Two, one, launch. Okay, so we are off. Our solid rocket boosters are pushing us skyward. And they are, uh, they're definitely getting us some speed. I'm actually going to pop that open so that we can kind of keep an eye on things. We still don't have batteries or any sort of generation for electricity other than rockets. So when our, our chemical rockets are firing, they generate thermo, uh, well, they generate heat. And, uh, Yes, it captures that heat and sort of changes it into, uh, into electricity is the idea behind the, uh, the generation, I guess. Or whatever. Maybe it's totally some other sort of technology, but you know what? I'm not too concerned about it. We're about five kilometers up. We've broken our terminal velocity speed, and those are gone. So let's, uh, let's crank that up and going. And uh, we do have vectoring, which is kind of nice now. Actually, we're going to crank this down because we don't need to be going that fast at all. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it keep it cruising, and we are moving. Um, about, we're about 10k though, so I'm gonna actually stabilize our speed. We're looking fine, and about this height, we should be above terminal, I would imagine. Start to tilt just a bit, and I'm gonna rotate us so that symmetrically our two tanks are on the bottom, and we're not kind of off off kilter or whatever. Um, okay, so tilt down to about the 45, and we're gonna crank our speed. Actually, our, our thing is sitting pretty low. Our, uh, our trajectory line, that is, so I'm gonna bring that up by firing a little higher. It's, it's definitely gonna be a waste of, uh, of fuel a bit, but I'm hoping this, this will be alright. Gosh, I hope this mission actually pans out. If not, you know what? We can get them home. We'll take some reports. It is what it is. My goal on this, if I can, I've got 38 science saved up right now for our for our expenses and our research in the research labs. I want to get um, 90 so that we can unlock two stages or two uh, two tech tree uh, icons, which would require us getting 52 science on this on this mission. If we can accomplish that, I would be a very happy camper. If not, it is what it is. It's, it's trial and error at this point. This is the true Kerbal way, but, um, yeah, if, if we can do it, I would be ecstatic. So that's the goal, guys, at least 52 science if we can manage. Uh, and it, it should be easy if we're able to get some, some rock samples and return this thing home. Gosh, we are running pretty low on fuel. I, I was hoping we would get up there and this could be used in the stage to push us out to the, the mun, but, uh... Maybe, maybe not, guys. This could be interesting. So we're still cruising on up. We've definitely been kind of fighting the forces of gravity. This has been a slow burn this whole time thus far, for the most part. We're all, we need to burn about a thousand more delta V to reach even just an orbit. So let's crank it down. We're at about 50 up. That should be fine. I know I went a little late. They usually, the people usually say about 40 kilometers up is when you want to tilt down to the night or to the, to the horizon, but, um, because we were in such a shallow orbit initially. Oops, I'm going to cut that there, and this is about 144. That's going to be fine. Let's push this out. How do we, how much do we need, it looks like? 
Uh, we are going to need about 34 seconds of burn is what it's thinking. I don't think we have it left in these tanks, so we're going to have to rely on what's in the next tank a bit to get us into an orbit. And we're also going to need... Why am I doing that? That takes, that takes electricity. Stop that. Okay, I'm no longer turning. That's fine. Turn off SAS. Let's get a crew report. Five science. We are now... Five... Five... Mits. Mits? It's supposed to be like megabytes? 0.7 scientific value? Hell no, we're not gonna keep that. Okay. So let's uh let's fast forward, shall we? Just a bit. Okay, that's probably good. Since we're gonna be dropping these tanks pretty darn quick here. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Gosh, I hope we have enough to pull this off. I really do. I hope this is successful. I'm gonna start the burner right now. We're just gonna do it and see what happens. Uh, got us a fair, fair, fair amount there. Let's kick that off and push this out with our with our engine here. Are we gonna have enough? That's the big question here. So it's asking for about 30 more seconds. Uh, I think we timed it pretty well. Start at about 20 and some odd seconds and take about 22 more. So yeah, that's pretty even. But are we gonna have enough fuel? Wow, wow, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to the money back. This is, uh, we should've, we should've put some more, some more fuel on this thing. It was definitely lifting a bit with those, with those engines. I could put some more, some more solid boosters on next time. Uh, interesting. Well, um, once we stop burn- oh, 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 too much, too much. Once we stop burning, um, and kind of start coming back into our landing, we'll, we'll try to do some, uh, some EVAs, get a- get some reports. How's this one? 1.6? Not even- not even worth taking. Turn off SAS, let's observe the goo. Two, that's not even worth taking either. Same thing on this side, I would imagine, yep, two. Hmm. So the spinning rocket. Um, okay. So I'm kind of just waiting until uh, we see the see the mun. We're gonna try to do this. See how far this engine can get us. Because if we can get there and if we can land with that with that stage there, I mean it's a small rocket. And it's a decent amount of fuel. I think we might be able to pull it off. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting trying to get this thing home. We can't refuel it. We don't have any sort of docking docking uh, system. So if we were to get this thing out there, the only chance recovering uh, Captain Shortall is using this ship to recover or sending another one that has a spot for him. Which, uh, I prefer not to get you guys, uh, get you guys lost in space. We'll, uh, we'll play it safe and, uh, go from there. But, uh, okay, so let's, uh, keep cruising. We should see the mun pretty quick here. I would imagine. It's not too far off. Come on, there it is. Let's tilt down to the horizon and get burning, shall we? Okay. So there is that. Let's pop back out here and take a gander. Let's watch this. Let's see if we can make this happen. Oops. Target. So we are a bit off alignment, just a, just a bit. If we can at least get into like a like an orbit on this thing, I would be ecstatic. Okay, so how are we looking? 1.5 mil. That's not going down too quick, so let's just leave it at that. Let's keep the last bit of fuel in here. Let's get let's get moving. Let's get uh, let's get cruising out to the mud. So coming in, looks like our alarm clock still went off. I'm glad this thing still works. It's gonna save me save me so many times. I I almost started clicking a bit too fast there for our encounter, so let's see. Okay, so there it is. What are we gonna need to do a capture? Hopefully not too much. 12 seconds it's asking for about 350 uh, meters per second there. That's fine. We are a little off kilter, it's no big deal with what we got. This is, uh, this is groundbreaking, guys. Groundbreaking. 
So let's see. Cruising on in. We need about 12 seconds. So T minus 6 seconds, give or take. A little higher than that's what we're going to want to shoot for to actually make sure that we... Oh boy. Okay. So we're going to be a little off. So on over to here. Yep. That's what I get. So I was just talking about a moment ago. Me overshooting using too much time warp. So let's do that. Let's uh, turn that on. And that is out. Boom. So this one here is our last bet. If we can get a capture, that would be ecstatic. And there it is. The Mun, guys. The Mun. And this isn't taking too much fuel. We might be able to pull this landing off. So we are captured. Let's bring it on in. We'll call that good. Didn't take too much fuel. Why don't we, since we're now engines killed and we're not accelerating or anything like that, let's take a let's take an EVA report. 24 science. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Let's keep that data. Let's uh, store that data. Hop back in. Let's take a crew report. 15 data. Awesome. So what is that? 24, 15. That's almost 40 there. There alone. If we can, uh, if we can get some other, some other data, like even a closer orbit on the Mun, it looks like, might get us, might net us some more, uh, some more data. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, we're out here. That's right. We have mystery goos that we can do. 30. Awesome, guys. Even if we don't land, we have hit our goal. That is precisely what we wanted. Boom. That is awesome. We nailed it, guys. Um, I mean, we, as far as what we had planned for, we didn't nail it, but um, our, our overall goal of science to, to capture is, is, a, is cake. We just we hit that without a problem, it looked like. That is rad. Checking my landing gear, making sure we got clearance. We sure do. I was pretty sure of that anyway. Just want to double check. Awesome. Okay. So can we store... Can we, like, grab the data out of these as a Kerbal and store it? Can I take new readings or can I only do one reading? Because if I can take a reading up here and I can take a reading, maybe that's a good reason to have multiples of these, huh? Of these goo, goo containers is take multiple readings. Because if that were the case, I could have a reading from up here if it doesn't let me take more than one, that is, which would, which would be odd. I would, I think you can take multiples as long as you're in different biomes, right? I would think. Whatever. Unimportant at this point. Um, okay, so why don't we do this? Let's bring ourselves into a nice close orbit. And just kind of see. Since we can get down pretty close. Let's do... Let's do just over 20. And cruise on in. Because we can... Uh, we can get a nice close shot and... Uh, yeah, guys, look at that. We have a lot of fuel. But we do need to kill, like, 300, but that should just be a, a little chunk there. Actually, we're going to need to kill a lot more than that as we dip in. Let's see how fast we actually end up going. Because so we'll need to kill that, and that'll, that's going to take a lot of our fuel. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the landing, because I really do want a different lander portion on here. Maybe I'll do the tri-split and then a couple of these rockets down below it to actually make our for our landing vessel, so that we, we just basically need to add a bit more fuel to our guy. Uh, let's hop out, grab that, so that we don't float away. New EVA report. Mun's east side, that's a new that's a new one. Let's take that. Store that experiment. That's a reset. We can't take any more readings from that, it looks like. How about now? Far east side is that the same one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. We'll uh we'll trash that report. Far east side crater, which is ah, must be that. So why don't we? Oh, we're on a ladder. We can't. Uh, can't do that. Let's take crew report. That'll overwrite the existing. Let's. Okay, we'll fine. We won't do that then. Um, let's zip on forward a bit. How about here? New EVA. A new EVA report here. Mudlands. Let's grab that. Let's reboard for the time being and take a quick peek. Keep it going. How about right here? That looks like another another crater. Grab. I wish it would just focus so that I could actually target my dude straight off the Midland Craters. Let's take that. 
Store that. Wow, we are getting just some killer science here, guys. Just some killer science. We're, we might be able to unlock quite a few different things with, with what we're getting here. I mean, I know that the prices are going to increase, but we might be able to knock out that whole row of stuff that we have. That's Midlands again. Let's keep that, and I don't think... Yeah, it's already one we have. Uh, review that report. Let's scrap that. Jump back in. How about... How about right here? Let's take a look. EVA up again. See, it always just puts us out front. That's just really annoying to me. Highlands? Another one. Awesome. Board up. Zip on forward. How about this crater? This should be a new one, I think, too. Uh, oh, this is uh, high over the mun again, so let's keep that. Board. Uh, dump experiments, since we already have that. And how are we looking in comparison? Let's, uh... If we burn now, we would push over all this direction. We really want to be a bit closer out here, I think, to start burning this way. Because that'll put us back home. So, Because I think we're going to head home. Made a, We made a good pass on the Mun. And, uh... We're going we're gonna to call it there, I think. So as we get... Pretty much as we get up to the Apo apps, I think, is when we're going to... We're going to do this. Actually, we're just going to turn around here. And... How about... How are we looking? So we're going that direction. Um, oh, oh, oh. We're losing ourselves. Okay, right there. Let's turn on SAS. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we're going to start burning. It's going to look like it's pushing us out this way, but really it's expanding, and once we break orbit, it should actually be shrinking our incoming to this uh, to the Kerbin. So yeah, we're, we're lowering this uh, periaps is exactly what we're doing here. Check my fuel. We have more than enough fuel. This shouldn't be a problem at all. Captain Shortall, we are getting you home. It's okay. So we are in Atmo. I'm going to bring it down just a bit more just to make sure. Yeah, we are sitting pretty. We got a ton of fuel left here, which is awesome. We might have been able to land. We just need a. I, I need a bit more leeway. That would have been, that would have been iffy. I mean, as you can see, it doesn't take much to get home once you're back in orbit. But the the whole landing process, killing that that velocity and and uh, actually getting back into orbit after you land, it does take a bit of uh, a bit of fuel, even with these little ships. But I think we we raked in a good amount of science here, so let's let's do this. Let's just go home. Break in orbit, heading back to Kerbin orbit. All right, we are in Kerbin orbit. Let's slow down our our thing because I know how quick this damn thing gets. There it is. Okay, we are swinging in. Okay, we should be coming in rather quickly here. There it is. We're going to get you home. No problem whatsoever. Oh, let's turn this thing around so that you're not taking the brunt of it right on your on your capsule. You are going to take that, uh, that, that uh, re-entry effect to the engines. They are less uh, important to us currently than your safety. Zipping on in below 100 kilometers. We are in atmosphere now. Officially in atmosphere. So we are cranking in there. We can deploy our chutes here rather soon. I'm going to change up our view, because that's an annoying view. There it is. Let's turn off SAS and just kind of let this thing ride it out. And it's just spinning. Going crazy. And look at that speed just drop. And we should be breaking, I think, um, away from re-entry, and we should be getting some, uh, some of the... Uh, contrails pretty quick here. It looks like they're calming down, but we should still be, I think, active enough for contrails. Maybe not. Let's deploy those chutes. We're closer to 300, and we are going to turn down our time warp. And just ride this one out. We do still have a, a rockets here, so we can actually slow our descent a bit more once these parachutes deploy if we don't, if we're not going quite slow enough. But yeah, we are looking good, guys. 
we are looking great. We're making a water landing. I know I've got the, the legs deployed, but uh, you know what? It's just kind of an extra extra breaking point, I suppose. Um, okay, let's turn this up just a bit more, since I know these aren't going to deploy for a little while anyway. Even that top one shouldn't be right off the bat. Should be rather quickly, though. Okay, we're getting close, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to engage our thrusters a bit. There they go. So six meters a second. That's fine, I would think. Even above water, we shouldn't encounter much of a problem here. And then we'll get this thing recovered, and we'll see how we're sitting. We should be sitting pretty well. So let's uh, give ourselves a bit more of a cushion as we come down here. Turn off time warp. Increase that engine bit. And boom. Perfect. Well, we rolled it over, but uh, that's fine. We got this thing recovered. No broken pieces. Everything is intact. And uh, Captain Chortle is going to get recovered here. Brought back to base. Okay. So what did we get? 233. Uh, two is our total. We gained 194.3 science. That turned really 0.3. Where did we get the, the decimal? Uh, I guess the observation of the mystery goo, high space over, or high, oh, it was because it was a, a factor of the first one that we did. Even though it displayed 30 while we were there, it doesn't count twice, so okay, that makes sense. Done. Let's take a look here. We can pretty much, how much is the next tier? 90 apiece. Uh, ooh, fuel lines. Um, okay, most important things. Boom, we can get our pro body, a new thing here, um, an SAS inline reaction tool. This is an actual winglet, which is a good, it's a control surface as opposed to just a, a stationary wing. And we can get a, our mech jab back in order here, so let's unlock that. Batteries, a science junior lab. So we can put this in orbit, um, and it's, it's a lab. And we get a new uh, comm unit here too unlock that. We can get our radial tanks, our radial engines, and our larger tank. Snag those. We've got 97 left here uh, in our in our uh, bank for for uh, spending some credits. We can get a Rocco Max Poodle and the Rocco Max fuel tank, the starting of our, our larger fuel tank assemblies. We can snag RCS and fuel lines uh, and a small engine here too. We can do uh, some of the starts for uh, the larger pieces here as well as uh, structural fuselage and hydraulic detachment manifold. Is this just another like separatron basically? After separate manifold, better use than this fit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's just one of the um, the radial decouplers. Uh, control surfaces for flight. Oh, jet jets and uh, air intakes. That might be kind of cool. Start off with some jets pretty quick here. How about this one? Uh, ASAS, another control surface, deluxe winglet, uh, cockpit, and another probe. Uh, lights. Lights and, ooh, and solar panels and batteries. That could be extremely useful. Ladders, another bit of science that we can snag. And some more landing stuff. What do you guys think we should do? I'm thinking probably this is going to be the most useful. Let's get some landing lights and ability to uh, generate electricity passively. Uh, so that at least we have something, though I know that those would be fun too. And fuel lines. Oh my god, fuel lines. I think we can make do without fuel lines currently for a mission. Why don't we go ahead and release, uh, uh, unlock this. Get some more uh, generation and uh, ooh, some more science here as well. Uh, so we can get the barometric pressure um, piece there. We got uh, the ladders that extend, bigger batteries, different solar panels. Protractor? Oh, the Protractor mod. That's right, I have another uh, one that I downloaded. I think I may have mentioned this in the early one, but another mod for the Protractor stuff. And the small probe engine stuff. Anyway, guys, um, that's our mission this time. We're going to come back next time with the, uh, the Skyscraper 5. Maybe I'll change up the name since we're no longer just scraping the skies. We're going to go in for an actual landing, so it's, I think it'll, it deserves a name change. Um, I'll work on that. I'll think about it. And uh, next time we'll come back and actually try to do a landing on the Mun. So until then, guys, cheers.